Virtue signaling is public policy? For the Colson Center, I'm John Stone Street with The Point. World Magazine podcast contributor Maria Bayer recently reported on the latest fashion and state legislation, exempting feminine hygiene products from sales tax. About a dozen states have already adopted the rule. More than 20 considered similar measures in 2019. Now, at first glance, it seems harmless, maybe even a good idea. After all, the products are vital for women's health. But as World's Report dug deeper, it became obvious this was more about virtue signaling than helping women. The amounts differ by state, but even by generous estimates, getting rid of the so-called pink tax will save women maybe $10 a year. But it'll cost states much more than that, meaning taxes will go up in the long run. That's just bad policy making. Americans and women deserve better than pandering irrelevant policies that appear generous and empowering but won't make a lick of difference. Virtue signaling's bad enough on Twitter. It's foolish as public policy. I'm John Stone Street.